Pinedjim II, the high priest who ruled as Pharaoh. In the waning years of Egypt's 21st dynasty, around 990 BC to 969 BC, Pinedjim II rose to prominence as the high priest of Amun at Thebes. Though the title Pharaoh was reserved for the rulers of the entire Egyptian kingdom, Pinedjim II held power in all but name. His authority extended over Upper Egypt, where Thebes remained the spiritual heart of the nation. This period was marked by division, with Egypt split between the royal seat in the north and the religious power in the south. Pinedjim II was not merely a high priest. He was the de facto ruler of southern Egypt, a man whose control over the temple complex at Karnak meant he wielded immense political and economic influence. Power through religion and politics among the king of the gods was central to Egyptian belief, and the priesthood of Amun commanded both reverence and wealth. Pinajim II's control over the priesthood made him one of the most powerful figures in Egypt. His position allowed him to collect taxes, administer justice, and oversee vast temple lands, all while presenting himself as the intermediary between the gods and the people. His rule was not marked by military conquest or expansion, but by maintaining control through religious authority and managing internal affairs. An impressive feat in a time of political fragmentation. Pinedjim also took on royal titles, indicating his dual role as both a spiritual and secular leader. His control of Upper Egypt stabilized the region during a time of northern and southern division and through the high priesthood, he ensured that the South continued to thrive independently. His effective governance and careful management of religious and political duties allowed for the preservation of Southern Egypt's traditions and resources. Greatness through legacy, Pinegium II's era, was one of relative peace in a divided land. His greatness lay in maintaining balance in a time of instability. He presided over the reburial of many royal mummies from earlier dynasties, ensuring that the ancestors were honored and their legacies preserved. These reburials were significant as they secured the continuity of Egypt's royal heritage, aligning Pinegem II with the long line of pharaohs he served as both priest and leader. He was also responsible for the enrichment of the temples of Amun, commissioning works that would stand as lasting testaments to the wealth and piety of the period. Under his rule, Thebes flourished as a religious center, and the wealth of the Amun temple continued to grow, reinforcing the idea that the gods favored Egypt, even in times of division. Self-knowledge from the past, Pinegem II's life and rule offer a compelling lesson about the power of stability, tradition, and strategic leadership. He understood the importance of preserving the past while managing the present. His legacy reminds us that greatness is not always found in conquest, but in stewardship. In a time when Egypt could have easily crumbled, he held it together, not through military might, but through careful administration and a deep connection to the divine. As we reflect on the ancient world, we find that the strength to endure lies in understanding our role in the broader flow of history. Pinegem de Su Su teaches us that greatness is often achieved by those who, even in times of division, find ways to preserve the core of their civilization. The past reveals not just the story of rulers, but the enduring spirit of a people who understand the importance of continuity, tradition, and the steady hand of leadership. In knowing this, we find our own strength, our own connection to the legacies we inherit and the futures we shape. The power behind the throne. While Egypt's political structure in the north was often turbulent, Pinegem II secured his authority in the south through more subtle means. His dominance was not driven by armies or conquest, but by control over the vast religious wealth and influence 
that flowed through Thebes. Amun, the supreme god, was central to Egyptian religious life. And as the high priest of Amun, Pinejim the Good controlled the temple estates, which were among the richest in the kingdom. Through this, he amassed power that rivaled that of the pharaohs in the north. He masterfully navigated the complicated web of Egyptian politics, keeping the southern territories stable, while chaos occasionally erupted in the north. His alliances with other influential priesthoods as well as his ability to manage Thebes' economic and spiritual prosperity, cemented his role as a stabilizing force in Egypt. Even though the country was politically divided, with different rulers in the delta, Pinejim II ruled the south with the wisdom of a pharaoh and the divine authority of a high priest. A time of reburial and restoration, one of the most defining aspects of Pinejim II's rule was his role in the reburial of Egypt's ancient kings. During his reign, the tombs of many royal ancestors were being plundered by grave robbers, threatening the sanctity of the afterlife for Egypt's previous pharaohs. Pinejim II took it upon himself to protect these ancient rulers by transferring their mummies to safer locations in the Theban necropolis. This act wasn't merely a religious duty, it was a powerful political statement. By preserving the royal dead, Pinejim had positioned himself as a protector of Egypt's divine heritage, binding himself to the ancient pharaohs and their eternal legacies. His actions reinforced his connection to Egypt's divine order, showcasing him not only as a priest, but as a restorer of Egypt's past glory. This preservation of the royal mummies linked him symbolically to the continuity of kingship in Egypt, further legitimizing his control in the south, the legacy of Thebes. Under Pinejim II, Thebes continued to grow as a center of religious life. The Karnak Temple complex, already one of the grandest in Egypt, saw new additions and repairs under his direction. This not only enhanced the city's religious standing, but also demonstrated the wealth and power of Amun's priesthood during his tenure. The growth of Thebes as a religious and political capital in Upper Egypt was Pinejim II's most enduring contribution. While Egypt was divided politically, Thebes remained prosperous and strong, its influence extending far beyond the city's walls. Greatness beyond the throne, Pinejem II exemplified greatness in a different way than many of Egypt's most famous rulers. He was not a conqueror or an empire builder, but he was a leader who maintained balance in a fractured land. His brilliance lay in the subtleties of governance, in stabilizing his territory through religious and economic means while ensuring that Egypt's spiritual legacy endured. In history, we often seek greatness in the form of warriors or builders of grand monuments. But Pinejim the Sun's greatness came from his ability to lead without spectacle. He was a preserver, a guardian of tradition, and a ruler who understood that sometimes the most critical work happens in the shadows, quietly, carefully, but with profound impact. The enduring wisdom of Pinejim. What Pinejim II offers us today is a lesson in patience, wisdom, and preservation. In a time when Egypt's future could have easily unraveled, he provided continuity. He demonstrated that greatness is not always forged in battle or through expansion, but in understanding the delicate balance between power and tradition, stability, and faith. His reign, though less dramatic than some, ensured that the heart of Egypt, the worship of Amun, and the treasures of Thebes remained intact for future generations. In knowing the story of Pinejim Nathu, we are reminded of the strength found in calm leadership, the wisdom of maintaining balance in uncertain times, and the importance of understanding that the future is shaped not only by those who conquer, but by those who preserve. Through self-knowledge of the past, we gain insight into our own potential to lead with patience, wisdom, and an enduring sense of purpose. Like Pinejim too, we too can forge greatness in ways that are not always visible to the world, 
but vital to the preservation of what truly matters. Kindly click like, subscribe, and share this channel.